What's up everyone, this is Ollie Talk is Tech, and I finally found a way to get the iPhone X dock on any iOS device. Let's get started. So the best part about this is you do not need to have an iPhone 10. All you need is an iOS device on iOS 11, which is really cool. So I'll get more into that later. So the problem I was facing with this glitch was I could not figure out how to remove the dock. But it turns out I made a tutorial about two weeks ago and that remove the dock tutorial still works on this version of iOS I'm on, but I thought it didn't. So huge thanks to Big Will. He actually brought it to my attention that the glitch does still work, but I didn't know that. So huge thanks to him. He basically sped up the process of me figuring this out. So he told me that my glitch that I found was still working. So it's pretty cool. So huge thanks to him. His link will be down below in the description if you want to check him out. Okay, so on iOS, iOS can be a little weird with glitches. So iOS is very, very well made, meaning glitches and things are hard to find and certain glitches might not work the way you want. So this glitch might seem a little obvious to some, but regardless, this is still, I guess, the best method to get the iPhone 10 dock on any iPhone. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and look at my last video and see how I removed the dock. I'll have it linked down below in the description, but if you don't want to do that, I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well in this video. So go to your widget panel and then swipe back, and what you want to do is once you're there, you want to swipe down and click the home button, and then continue to swipe down again. So swipe down, click the home button, and then drag down again. You want to keep doing this over and over and over again. So the second you let go of your finger, that's when you click the home button and then drag down again and you want to continue to drag down over and over again so it's a very lengthy process it takes a lot of trial and error but just keep trying and eventually you will get it so once you get that weird animation that i just did you'll see that the dock is now missing so now what you want to do is visit my website that'll be linked down below in the description it'll be the first link and i'll have it labeled so you can see it but what you want to do is go ahead and visit it and here you can visit my channel or whatever but on the left you'll have the normal wallpaper and on the right you'll have the dock wallpaper so what you can do is you can set the left wallpaper as your lock screen and then the right one as your home screen so for example, this would be the lock screen wallpaper, just that way it can match your home screen. So what you want to do is find the home screen wallpaper you're looking for, the one with the really cool dock. Go ahead and save it to your photo library by tapping on the share icon. And it took so long to make these wallpapers because I had to find a way to make the dock like a high resolution because I was having issues with that before. But you can go ahead and set it as both if you really want or just the home screen. And you can see that it looks flawless. I think it looks so cool. I love the way this looks on my iPhone. Now there's a downside. It is permanent unless you swipe to the widget page or you scroll to any other page of apps. So as long as you stay on the first page of apps, this will work. You can unlock and lock your die device and everything will work fine. So what I recommend you do is if you want to find an app that isn't on the home screen, what you can do is swipe down to the notification center and then use that search bar on the widget page. It's kind of complicated and tedious. But if you want the iPhone 10 dock, that's the price you're going to have to pay. So at the moment, I'm the only one who has this information. So what I recommend you do is share this video with your friends because I'm sure that they would really appreciate this as well. Share this website, show them how to use it. It's really cool. And I'm going to be adding more wallpapers as fast as I can. I want to add as much variety of wallpapers as I can so that you guys can get the best experience. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.